Number four, suppose you walk 18 meters straight west and then 25 meters straight north. How far are you from your starting point and what is the compass direction of a line connecting your starting point to your final position? All right, so they gave us a figure on the right hand side to try to simplify this a little bit. So it says that we walk 18 meters west. So first, where's our starting point? Our starting point is right here. Okay, then from the start point, we walk 18 meters straight west. So it looks like letter A in this diagram will represent 18 meters because we moved west. Then it says we're going to walk 25 meters north. So it looks like B, as represented in the picture, will be 25.0 meters. Great. Now what they want to know is they want to know how far are you from your starting point, meaning the straight line distance between you, your starting point, and your end point. So that's represented as R in this figure. So we have a nice triangle, right? So if I were to redraw the triangle down here, it looks like we would have something that looks kind of like this. Okay, and here would be 18.0. This side is 25.0. And this is my R value, the resultant it's known as. Okay, and they're also going to ask us for this degree. So let's first focus on the resultant vector. How do I find that? That's simple, right? I mean, you know two sides of a triangle. How do you find the third? It's Pythagorean's theorem, right? And the formula is over here on the right-hand side. So let's call this my A value, this my B value, and then the hypotenuse is always the C value. Okay, so we have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. The A value we said was going to be 18.0, and we're going to square that. The B value is 25.0, and we're going to square that. And the C value is now just the R, right? My resultant vector squared. So let's plug it into the calculator. 18 squared works out to be 324. And we have three sig figs. Oop, no more squared sign up there. So plus now 25 squared. So let's square that. So this is going to be 625 is equal to R squared. Now all we have to do is just add those two values together. So 324 plus the 625, that's going to equal 949. That's equal to R squared. Now to find the R, we have to take the square root so we can get rid of that uh, squared sign. So we're going to be left with R is equal to square root of 949. And three sig figs again, so it's going to be 30, 30 30.8 meters. Makes sense. The R should be the longest, or the hypotenuse, I should say, should be the longest side of the triangle. Uh, which it is. So that would be the uh, that would be the displacement, and that would be how far we are. Now they want to know essentially what's the angle. Okay, so how do we go about solving for an angle? Well, this is trigonometry. So what we need to do is we need to locate our angle. So in the picture, I'm circling it. All right, in in gold. Now what we have to do is we have to relate that angle to the sides of the triangle that we know. But well, we know all three, so we can really use any. Um, any of the um, trigonometric uh, functions there. Uh, but why don't we choose the ones that we were given because maybe I made a mistake in the resultant calculation, which I didn't, but you never know. Um, so what I'm gonna do relative to this degree angle, this is the opposite side, so that's the O. And then, oop, and then this side would be represented as the adjacent side, right? Now I already label it as an A, but they were two different things, right? It just so happened that this was the adjacent side relative to that angle. But I already have the A there, so let's just leave it. So now what I'm going to choose, I have to choose a formula that relates the degree measure to the opposite and the adjacent side, and that is the tangent function. So let's write a tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the tangent of that angle is equal to the 25.0 over the 18.0. So a tangent of that angle, plug it into the calculator, do 25 over 18 works out to about, we're going to do three sig figs, uh, 1.39. And then to get rid of the tangent function, you have to take the inverse tangent. So in your calculator, you should be able to hit second tan, and then just plug in 1.39. And we get a value of about, I'm going to do three sig figs, so 54.3. And that's degrees. So that is the angle, right? But we just have to, we have to 
say something else about it. Well, great, that's 54.3 degrees, but from what? 54.3 degrees relative to what? So what axis are we measuring? So let's go back to the picture here. What axis are we measuring that degree from? Well, it looks like we're measuring it if I were to draw my coordinate system at the starting point. It looks like I'm, that axis, excuse me, that angle is relative to the negative x-axis. Or in other words, it's relative to the west axis, right? Cool. So then I can say, well, in order for me to describe this angle fully, I would have to say that this angle measure is 54.3 degrees north, because it's above west, right? North of west. That would fully describe it. So in fully describing the, um, the compass direction of this degree, we would write 54.3 degrees north of west. And that would then be the final, final answer. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Not too bad. All right. And uh, for more practice, we got a ton of other videos. Keep doing the problems. I almost guarantee if you do all the problems in your textbook, you'll probably get an A in the class. So we're going to provide you solutions to everything so we can ensure you get that A. All right, guys, remember to subscribe. Thank you so much. It supports us tremendously. Take care.